Here at the Social Regressive, we are testing the poop out of 350 Legend, and we are finding out which ammunition is which and which one is gonna make a big mess in gel. And we're talking about practical ranges here, so we are using that CMMG Resolute at 100 and 200 yards to hit this gel and see what kind of a mess it can make. Helping us make that hit up on top, we have a US Optics TS6X scope on there. It's one of those good AR style uh, scopes. It has uh, an illuminated reticle that has uh, some extra drop values, which for this cartridge is really important. I wanna be able to get that extra mil radian of drop that I'm getting with pretty much all of these cartridges out at 200 yards. We've already tested two excellent offerings from Winchester. We have the Deer Season XP and the Super X with its PowerPoint. That's a 180 grain. And both of those perform very well doing slightly different things. That soft point just tore through uh, two blocks of gel. It has a whole lot of energy that it can put in there and it cuts a very long but not quite as wide path. That Deer Season XP just goes off like a little bomb at the beginning of the gel and makes a huge mess. The one we're testing today is a 160 grain Power Max bonded hollow point. And we're gonna see if this works like that 145 or that 180. We're gonna see how this works. It looks like it'll cut through the air pretty well. It does have a really long nose. Let's get out there and see what this can do at 100 and 200 yards. Oh yeah, that looks good. Okay, yeah. Good placement. Sorry I didn't get any slow-mo footage of the 100-yard hit with the PowerMax bonded, but we have the results right here. We can kind of see this as a little slice in time. This opened up just a bit under one inch and then flared out a lot like a varmint bullet. Look at those chunks of lead flying off through there. This has a total width of those lead chunks of about one and a half inches, and it cuts this big three-dimensional a uh, one and a half inch cut for a very long time, probably about five inches of that. And then at nine inches, it starts, that's where we kind of get to the end of the major cut. You see that last little leaf right there. And then it, it just kind of continues to cut some little ones back through here, like this little leaf uh, shape that you see uh, right back there. And then in the second block, it may have tumbled, it may have done a little something right through there but it comes to rest way back here. So we're looking at about 26 inches of penetration on this bullet. And you can see that where it came to rest, there's just this great big blobby mess. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this bullet looks. At 200 yards, the Power Max bonded opens up very quickly. This is a good high performance bullet. As you can see, it, yeah, it flares out within the first inch and gets to its maximum width. That's probably about one and an eighth inches right there of width. And you can see that this is a, a two or it's a three dimensional cut. This one actually cuts in all directions. So it is, uh, it's not just that leaf shape cut that you get from some of these tumbling bullets. Uh, this one is cutting quite a, a good mess and it's continuing that cut for a good long way all the way back here through 10 inches. It's really continuing to cut. Now here's where it gets mixed up with another hit uh, from another bullet. I think this might be one of the subsonics that came out the side. So we're getting kind of mixed up here. I'm gonna go around to the top. But yeah, this is our cut from the, the Power Max bonded. It just keeps going, keeps going. And as it gets into the next block, it starts to kind of settle. And then this one actually comes out the side 
and might have, oh yeah, this is the one that hit our sandbag and bounced off. I was not able to uh, recover that projectile. Maybe if I had known that it had gone out and bounced off the sandbag, I would have been able to uh, go find it in the grass, but I only saw it here in post while I was editing to see that it had bounced off. But yeah, lots of energy. I think this would have gone through all 32 inches of gel. It only had a few left to go, but a pretty darn good cut at 200. Nice job. Look at how purdy this 160 grain HP looks coming out of the gel. That is exactly what we've been looking for with all these. Winchester has really been knocking it out of the park with this ammo. Everything that we've tested of theirs has been just high performance. It's been doing really, really well. So yeah, let's see what kind of uh, width we have on this. It is neatly folded back all the way across. And actually, the uh, as we saw it flying through the air, it looks like the 200-yard hit is probably very similar. It did not look very long as we as it kind of tumbled through the air. Let's see if we can find the, the widest spot right here. All right, we are looking at about point. 525 so yeah decent width overall we've gotten over a half inch of width on that very cool and we do have you know it's all holding together really well because it is that bonded bullet it has plenty of base left so this is one that is going to be able to carry through the entire animal as you you know of course up close here it uh, dumped a lot of that energy first but you know, with the 200, you saw that it went through all 32 inches of gel, providing lots of energy on there. Really, really good choice. Let's see how much weight we have left. 148.1 out of the original 160. And we saw in its wound track that it was kind of uh, spitting out some little chunks of lead and uh, probably some little bits of copper as well. Great performer. As far as accuracy goes, this one is holding right in there with the others. We're looking at 2.6 inches across here. Not too shabby. I was only able to clock four of the five velocities uh, in this five shot group, but we have a mean of 2180 feet per second, a standard deviation of 30, so this one is higher. But there is one thing that I should point out here, guys. This probably actually is shooting a little better than that. I was uh, kind of getting off the center of my chronograph with some of these shots. And uh, I think that, you know, part of the, that's also kind of the reason why I didn't get that fifth velocity. I think I was getting off the center of there. So I can't really trust these numbers. I think the mean is probably about right. But uh, some of these others that are uh, getting into some strange velocities, I think that's really due to me just not getting it straight over the top. Like the other two supersonic offerings from Winchester, I highly recommend this. This is high performance, it's gonna get the job done, and it's gonna do it accurately and reliably. Definitely pick one of these three. Uh, these are all gonna get the job done. Great job, Winchester. Make sure that you stick around and watch for some of the upcoming videos we're gonna do. We're gonna do some more hand loading and testing some of those hand loads in gel. We have 243 Winchester that I've been working on in the background. We have 57 by 28 coming up soon. And we have some other series coming up that you're not gonna to wanna to miss. Make sure that you like, share, subscribe, and especially hit that notification bell down below so you don't miss anything when it comes out. Make sure you get the full notification bell so that uh, YouTube doesn't get a chance to suppress this content. It just comes straight to you. Thank you, patrons of the Destructive Arts, for continuing to make videos like these possible. You are the ones that are buying gel and uh, keeping us stocked in gunpowder and tools and all kinds of stuff. You guys rock. Thank you, Sportsman's Guide and Stan and Mary at the 338 Lapua Magnum level. We have Mr. No Name, Joseph Davis, and Peter at the 300 Win Mag level. And if anybody else wants to chip in a buck or two a month to keep videos like these coming, I'll put a link to Patreon. See you guys around. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. Even if you didn't like this particular content, go ahead and subscribe. There's probably something coming that's more up your alley. Check out this playlist right here. This is going to have videos in a similar vein to what you just watched. These two videos we cherry picked for you. And finally, The Social Regressive is on Patreon. So you can become a patron of the destructive arts and earn some goodies while helping us to provide high quality videos just by kicking us a few bucks a month. Thanks a bunch for your patronage.